So you might only have a few seconds to grab an audience's attention, and that's why we need to build a great intro video. After Effects is a great app for that, but it takes too much time to learn when you're in a crunch. That's why we'll use templates instead to get a head start. I'm going to start off with this template from the Storyblocks library. With Storyblocks, you have access to a ton of different templates that help you skip learning After Effects and just update them with your own to really customize it. As you can see in the preview that I've been playing, it starts off with stock imagery and video, but it's easy to customize, and I'll show you how to do that. I've gone ahead and downloaded the template, and now I'll find it on my computer. In the folder, I'll double click on the zip file to open it up. Let's double click on the AEP file to open it up in After Effects. After a couple of seconds, it will open it up and we're ready to work in it. I'll go ahead and press the spacebar to play a preview here and you can see it in action. We just need to update the placeholder elements like the text and images to customize it for ourselves. I've already rounded up all the images and video footage that I want to use for this project in a folder. I grabbed all of the video clips from the Storyblocks video library and the images from the Storyblocks images library. Let's go ahead and open up the folder in the project panel here on the left side. I'm going to drill down until I start to see this folder that has the placeholders in it. Using a project like this is all about swapping out these placeholders for the files that we want to include. Let's start off by updating the first text placeholder. I'll click on the canvas on the text and then I'll double click on it. Now we've switched over to the composition that's specifically for the text. I can just type over this and replace it with the text that I want to show. As I switch back to the main composition and play the preview, you can see that our text is updated here. Let's keep playing the previews. You can see that there are placeholder previews here that we need to replace. Each of these is a separate file that we can replace with an asset of our own in order to really customize it. As the previews play, I'm going to select files in the drill down here. I'll right click here in the project panel on one of the placeholders in the sidebar and replace them. All that you have to do is browse over to the folder where your files are stored and select them instead. Because we put everything in a single folder, it's easy to go one by one and replace these. Now, as I play this preview with some of the placeholders replaced, you might notice that the image isn't fitting exactly perfectly. That's where it really helps to just double click on the layer here for the file that you inserted, and then we can resize and reposition this a bit. On this canvas, all I really have to do is kind of come up here and grab the corner on this image and scale it down so that it fits on the canvas the way I expect. Now I'll switch back to the main composition and I'll just repeat this process. I'll play the preview a little further, choose another placeholder, and then replace it with my own file. All you have to do is replace this entire process until you've replaced all of the placeholders and then you have a perfectly customized video. Now one last thing that you might want to do is adjust the work area or the part of the video that it's going to export. I'm just going to grab this handle here and pull it back to a certain part of the video timeline so that we only export these when we render it out. Now the file's inside of After Effects now, so we'll need to render it out to save it as a flat video file. I'm going to go up to the file, export, add to render queue menu here. Down here, I'm going to go ahead and tweak a few settings by changing this to the custom QuickTime option for a reasonable finished file size. I'll go ahead and see this through, and once I click render, I'll get a finished video project file once it's finished. The end result here will be a great video project file that's ready to add as the intro for your project. I'm Andrew Childress for Storyblocks, and thanks for learning with me.